All right, we got our pre-spray down. We're really gonna kind of just give the carpet a good scrub. This carpet we could have almost just done with a rug doctor, but the carpet's so smashed down and everything, it's worn out. Then we decided to go ahead and scrub it real good just to kind of uh, raise the, the nap of the carpet up a little bit and get it fluffy. On this carpet, we're going to run the rug doctor over it. We're not going to rake it or anything tonight because we're going to probably come back tomorrow when it's dry and uh, post vacuum it to help get even more fluff into the carpet because it's real matted down. It's a pretty worn out carpet. The 50 foot cord is nice, but it can get in your way. But when you need it, it's nice. One nice thing you can do also after you run the extractor, we're not going to do it today, I don't think we'll need to, but you can also post spawn it and uh, that helps kind of dry the carpet up a little bit, but it also refluffs it up and gets the machine marks and footprints up for you. But we don't generally do that because it just takes, it's just taking more time. Pretty good. Yeah, it's fluffing up nice. The problem with these older carpets is you can get them nice and fluffy and fresh looking, but they'll mat down pretty quick when people move in, just because the carpet doesn't have any real integrity left in the fibers. So even though you can make it look really, really good and get that good first impression, the problem is, of course, it's going to mat down in the traffic areas and stuff pretty fast. But that's, you know, that's how it is. You can, you can kind of keep a carpet going for a while and save uh, replacing it a little bit longer if you have a, if you just have it clean. Well, it's the whole living room. It looks good. Then we hit over here. Just, this is where there's a lot of, uh, a lot of gum. There was like 40 or 50 little pieces of gum in the carpet. Most of it was right in here. Yeah, there was a lot of gum and candy and everything embedded Lots. in the carpet. So when gum gets in the carpet, it don't matter if it was red or green or blue. After it sits around for a while, it turns black. And this stuff is real black because it had dirt on top of it. But this is the area where it was really at. And we uh, we took it out with a steam with a wallpaper steamer, like you would a red stain. Took it right out too. Yeah, we've got videos on our channel showing you how the steamers work. Uh, we have a playlist for them. You have to maybe look a little bit, but they're there. That's it. All right. It's ready to extract. We're doing this room, the hallway still to do, and we have a bedroom back here. We're going to end up losing our daylight in another hour, so we probably won't even try to film the bed this bedroom back here, even though it's 
It's looking pretty decent right now. We're going to run out of light. And the other room, like I said, I'll show you. But we've decided it's way too dark to even try to shoot video in. So we're going to save it for last because it's probably going to be dark by the time we get back here anyway. But uh, anyway, keep watching because we're going to show the extraction. <laughs> 